Hello, my loves. Welcome to your uh, weekend love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 14th through May 17th. So I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and sane in this quarantine. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides for clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have for my Pisces, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance? What love messages do we have for my Pisces, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, May 14th through the 17th, please, Spirit. What messages do my Pisces need to hear today, please, Holy Spirit? All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? For personal rate, I can't speak. For personal readings, I am still only taking emergency readings. Um, guys, I my schedule has changed. I am now taking off Saturdays and Sundays because I have burned myself out. I've been working seven days a week for months straight, so I, I need a little bit of a rest in between. Um, so Saturdays and Sundays, I do not work. So even if you purchase a, uh, you know, um, uh, an emergency reading, it's one business day or two business days. So if you purchase it on a Friday, you will not receive it until Monday, okay? Um, in the description box below, you'll also find my new channel, uh, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. You'll find um, um, Timeless Collective readings. There's a whole bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out, okay? So Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So... Guys, there is uh, someone from your past there uh, around you. Um, this could be an ex. It could be, you know, a childhood friend. It could even be a family member, honestly. Um, but there is someone here that is watching you. Well, let me not say family member because I feel like this person is like madly in love with you. Um, uh, Pisces, you have someone that has their eye on you. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but someone here is absolutely head over heels in love with you. Um, now, this could be somebody that you had a very strong connection with. It could be um, a husband. It could be a wife. It could be someone that you used to live with, someone that you had a very strong spiritual connection with. Um, and I do feel that this person is watching you. I feel that they are in massive regret. I feel that, you know, they tend to look you up in the middle of the night. They tend to, you know, their stomach turn. I got that little bit of like that stomach turning feeling. Um, I feel that they do want to come towards you, <coughs> but they don't know if um, you'll take them back. So because of that, they hold, you know, they hold themselves back. Uh, but I do feel that this person has unbelievable regret. Okay. I mean, like drowning in regret. Um, I feel like they wish that they could take the really, you know, the connection that you guys shared and move it to more peaceful waters. I definitely, I mean, the, the sense of regret, I can't see justice you know, justice, um, Libra energy. So guys, you know, someone here is, you know, if you guys have been wondering if there's a person in your life that really did you dirty, you know what I'm saying? If they're regretting it, the answer is yes. So as far as I could see, I didn't see them making a move, but let's see, let's see what we have going on here. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I do feel like they're trying to build courage. Like they would need a lot of, like it would take some massive, like, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> to like come back towards you. That's how badly this person hurts you. All right. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Pisces, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Pisces, please? Door to personal healing and happiness. So guys, I feel that this person does want to open that door. They do want to open that window. They do want to heal the situation. They do want to be happy with you again. Um, yeah, there you go. Happy family. This person, you know, wants that joy back in their life. They miss that love and feeling. 
rest and rejuvenation. I feel like this person just felt safe and happy and content when they were with you. They felt at ease. Um, we have community here. Now, this could have been a third party situation, obviously. Okay. But I'm also getting here that maybe, um, you know, maybe you guys had the same friends. Maybe you guys hung out a lot. Maybe this person saw you as their best friend at that point in time. Hostility. No, nope, maybe it was a third party. <laughs> okay. Maybe a third party is what screwed this whole thing up. And um, it is possible. And now community could also be a friend. It could be a friend. It could be a family member listening to other people around you that, that were causing the situation to get hostile. So maybe this person is regretting listening to the people around them or a third party situation. Let's see. So we've got wedding here. The situation involves marriage. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So again, I did feel for some of you very strongly that you could have been married to this person. If not, then it was a very strong spiritual contract, okay? Um, so we have here um, a, a spiritual connection, not contract, excuse me. Finances and career here. And we have new love. Yes, yeah, someone here wants to work on, you know, maybe starting over, expressing their love. Or maybe someone here is watching you move on to new love. That's possible too. Let's see. So we have the Eight of Cups. We have the World. And we have the Eight of Swords. Oh, my Lanta. So this person walked away, guys. They walked away. They disconnected. They walked away. They disconnected with that World card. However way they ended the situation, they know that it, it's final. Like, you know what I'm saying? However way this person chose to walk away, um, they're very much stuck in their head about it with the Eight of Swords. They can't stop thinking about what they did to you, how they walked away from you, how they left you, okay? With the Ten of Swords, yeah, that's an, uh, ooh, ow, oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, see, this person, Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. The Ten of Swords, look at that. Look at all those swords there. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's bad. And then we have the three of swords. Guys, this person hurts you. Whoever this is, this person has caused you immense amount of pain. And with the page of pentacles, they want to apologize for it. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Look at the face on that card. Like, please, please just accept my apology. Yeah, but this person really did you dirty, Pisces. Or Pisces, hey, listen, you could have done someone else dirty and, you know, you're looking at them now regretting doing them dirty. That's, you know, could be vice versa, okay? Um, so now we've got finances and career. So we've got 10 of pentacles. We've got the five of cups and we've got the queen of pentacles. So we've got more Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. This person turned their pain into power, man. No wonder why this person at Pisces, if this is you, man, did you level up after this person hurt you? Oh my goodness. Finances and career can mean wanting to work on something, or it could also mean like straight up, like you're a boss. You know what I'm saying? Ten of pentacles. I mean, that's, whew, that's money. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's abundance in your life with the five of cups and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel Pisces, that you took that pain that this person caused you. You took all of that pain and you became the queen of pentacles. Now, the queen of pentacles could be a single mother. The queen of pentacles, um, you know, she could be committed. She could be a wife. She could be a mom. Yeah, but for the most part, she's very independent. She does not need anybody. Very financially stable, okay? So here's the, here's the kicker, Pisces. You may be presenting yourself as this person that has it all together. Maybe you do have it all together. But with that five of cups, you maybe still think about this person too. You still hurt about what happened. Okay. Um, maybe there are even things that you regret doing. Okay. Possibly. Okay. So now we've got the queen of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So there you are, Pisces. And with the six of wands... And the chariot, yeah, you see, this person wants victory. We've got the six of wands in the chariot, two victory cards here, Cancerian energy. This person wants to move towards you now with that chariot card. They want to move in on you with the six of wands. Um, you know, they see that you're successful. They see they want to win. You know what I'm saying? They want to win. And with the queen of cups here, you know, they're seeing you there. They, they know, you know, you got love. So, you know, what's great about this is that you have abundance. You've got love. You've got everything here. You know, they see that you're the entire package. Um, 
they may want to make a move on you. I, I could understand their hesitancy because that Ten of Swords and that Three of Swords, man, as soon as I touched those cards, that was painful. This person hurts you, Pisces. So this is not just somebody that you met, you went on three dates with, and they ghosted you. No, this was like a real connection that really tore you up, okay? Like a connection that no matter how good you're doing in your life, your mind always kind of drifts back to that person that hurts you. Like it's it's a pain that not even you have healed from, okay? Um, so let's see what we have here. Spirit messages we have for my Pisces, please spirit tell me about this eight of cups please spirit tell me about this eight of cups four of swords four of swords so someone here left they left they took a break they needed a break tell me about this four of swords the lovers card so here we are. So this is a strong soulmate connection. Now, you see the snake on the tree? This could be a third party situation, obviously, but this could also be friends, family members. This could just be anyone and anything trying to come in between your relationship. Tell me about the world. We've got temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we have the hermit, Virgo energy. So this person closed the door on this. They just went cold. That's really what I'm feeling here. This person just went cold because, you know, temperance is someone that, you know, their emotions are very balanced. Okay. And the hermit card withdraws, right? So I feel that with the world card, somebody here just disappeared, withdrew their emotions, just went cold. Tell me about the eight of swords. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy with that eight of swords. They cannot get you out of their head, Pisces. They, I mean, to the point of obsession, Capricorn energy, okay? They cannot get you out of their head. They have not found anybody like you. They have not found anyone that has reached Empress status like you. That You know, and guys, gender doesn't matter. Emperor, Empress. They can't stop thinking about you. This person is literally obsessed with you. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So this person feels that you were an Empress when you were with them, and without them, you're a pre-Empress. Like, they feel that you're just like... That no, nothing can compare. And with the world card here, they shut the door on it. And they're pissed about it. Tell me about this Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, this could be someone that you're divorced from. Ten of Swords, we've got the Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Energy. Somebody here wants to talk about it. We've got the Ace of Swords. Somebody here wants to speak to their truth. And the Strength card, but they're trying to gain courage. Leo Energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Five of Wands. There may have been strife. There may have been jealousy. There may have been a lot of people. There was a lot of people that were involved in this. Two of Pentacles, yeah. There, there, you Okay, so you may have been juggling two people. This person may have been juggling two people, and they were very conflicted with that Three of Swords on which way to go. Um, or there may have just been a lot of people that were putting doubt in your person's head, causing them to break your heart. Yeah. See, behind the scenes, there was a lot of people that were um, manipulating the situation. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to come in and apologize, but they don't know how. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, um, this person wants to tell you that, you know, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about, you know, the, the life that you guys shared together, how abundant it was. And the sun. This person was really happy when they were with you. Leo energy. Um, they, they were really happy when they were with you. And I feel that something here, you know, sometimes too many people get involved or, you know, but they want to come back. They want to express their love. They want to tell you how sorry they are and how, you know, they want to tell you the truth about something. Tell me more about, they don't have the courage. They're trying to gain the courage to speak their truth. Tell me about this Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands. This person wants to speak. They want to speak to you about something. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Look, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles here. We've got the Eight of Cups. 
so you know pisces you disconnected too but you kept your ten of pentacles you know capricorn towards virgo energy you know even though the recovery was slow for you pisces um you still kept going tell me about the five of cups the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy so this is that apology coming in i apologize i regret what i did tell me about this five of cups the three of cups can we get back together can we fix this can we reconcile i know this person is so stuck in their head on how they hurt you uh, oh, cancer pisces this person is so stuck in their head on how they hurt you tell me about this queen of yeah Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel that they see you in your power, Pisces. They see you as someone that's slaying the competition, someone that is secure, someone that is confident, someone that is on fire. Like this girl is on fire is coming into mind. That that song from what's her name? What I can't remember. I'm so bad with names. Um, but it's like they see that you're just on fire. They just see that like they'll never find anybody to replace you four of wands okay they see you as stable they see you as possibly a twin flame they see you as somebody that they just can't replace yeah and now they're wishing that they would have held on to you now they are the ones standing at a distance with a broken heart thinking about the past with that seven of pentacles spirit tell me about this queen of cups please the fool the fool and the three of swords so Pisces, you feel that with this person, um, they took advantage of your love. They took advantage of your heart. They were not committed to you. Like you stood as a queen of cups there. Someone very kind, very caring, very nurturing, very loving, whether you're male or female. And they broke your heart and played you for a fool. And I feel that, guys, your intuition, there you are, Piscean energy, knows that they really are sorry. I think your intuition knows that this person wishes that they had another chance with you, but I don't know if you can if you can bring yourself. See, look, judgment just popped out. They want a second chance. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please, Spirit. The Ten of Cups. This person wants their Ten of Cups back. They want to have victory with you, with the hanged man. You know, they're they're waiting. They're waiting. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, they're the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, a true pair. Um, I feel like, I don't know if they're waiting to come towards you or if they come towards you, if you may wait to make a decision. Tell me about this chariot. Queen of Pentacles again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Five of Cups, they want to tell you how much they regret what they did. Um, they want stability. They want commitment. They, they, you know, they want it back. They want it back. Tell me about this Five of, yeah, they regret ending. They regret this ending. They regret hurting you. They regret that, you know, for those of you who had a divorce, yeah, this person is coming in quick, hoping for healing Aquarius energy, Cancerian energy. Let's see here. So here we have new beginnings and we have healing light. This person wants to know if there can be a new beginning. Can this situation be healed? You know what I'm saying? Can this situation be healed? And here we have true love and professional assistance. Okay. So I feel that um, Pisces, You really love this person. And like I said, you turn that pain into power. Um, I feel that with professional assistance, the love that you had for this person and the pain that they caused you, caused you to ascend in some way, um, possibly, you know, through your career, maybe because you were hurting so badly, you just threw yourself into work where, you know, your career took off because I'm seeing a lot of pentacles here for whoever I'm reading for really did well financially with finding you worked on something, you ascended in some way. Um, yeah, I mean, Let's see here for the challenge. We've got the two of wands, a decision needing to be made. And with the sun, Leo energy, you know, can this reconcile? Is there, is there hope for recovery here? Is there hope for happiness? We've got the eight of pentacles and the knight of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person's going to put a lot of work to do all that lovey dovey romantic stuff. This person is really coming towards you with love, with an apology. Um, 
this person is serious. They're serious about coming back in. They're, they're very sorry for what they did. Um, that hanged man there kind of like where I feel like you're, you're going to stall out. You're just not sure. I feel like even though you know that this person is your true love, you're just going to focus more on business. Like your true love right now is your business. It's your profession. It's your career. You don't, I feel like you're just not really focusing on love right now. You got hurt really bad. And you know what I'm saying? You're putting your time and energy into things that you know will be successful. All right, well, let's take it into an extended. Let's see if there's going to be reconciliation here because this person is really serious about wanting to come in and do right by you. They are very, very serious about wanting to come in and do right by you. The regret is real, but your pain is real too, Pisces. So um, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will also be in the comment section below, okay? I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye.